Hey, it's Anne Emery. Let's talk about concatenation. Concatenation is just a fancy word that means joining or chaining things together. So let's say you have months in one column and days in another column and years in another column, but you want to combine them into a new column, month, day, or month, day, comma, year, or year dash month. You can use concatenation in all different scenarios. You could use it with dates. You could use it with names. You could use it with phone numbers. You know, if they're separated into different columns, you can break these things apart. I'll show you how to do that in other lessons. And then you can join these letters and numbers back together with concatenation. I have a few videos on this because it's such an important technique and I really want you to feel like a concatenation expert by the end of these few videos. Okay, so here's the first lesson. Let's just talk about what concatenation is and how there's the concatenate formula or there's the ampersand. So first let's create a new column, column D, where we've got month, space, day. So instead of July in one column and three in another column, we're gonna have July, space, three. The first way to do that is with the concatenate formula. You have to type in an equals at the beginning of any formula or function, same as you normally would, and then you type out equals concatenate. And I, I usually sound it out like that, even if I'm alone in my office. Equals concatenate. Open up your parentheses and you click on the first cell that you want, comma, the second cell that you want. It's not going to be perfectly right. We're going to edit it in a moment. Okay, so it's going to be really uh, smushed together. It's July smush three. We want July space three. Let's edit that formula a little bit. So to edit a formula, you can either double click on the cell or you can go up here to the formula bar and edit it directly in there. This one's a little bit bigger for you to see, so I'm just going to edit it right inside the cell. Okay, so we've got the letters and numbers from cell A3, comma, the letters and numbers, excuse me, A2, uh, comma, the letters and numbers from cell B2. So all we have to do is A2, comma, quotation marks, space, quotation marks, comma, B2. You have to enter the quotation marks around anything that's something you're typing in directly off your keyboard. So A2 and B2 are cell references. That means I'm not typing in the word July, J-U-L-Y by hand. I'm telling my computer, hey, go grab whatever is in that cell over there, the cell I'm referencing or the cell I'm referring to. Whatever is in A2, give it to me, like smush it all together and then grab whatever is in B2, like over there, that one over there, the one I'm referencing and, and smush it all together. So you could have A2, you know, quotation marks space B2, and you would get this, July space three. Click on this cell and hover your mouse over the bottom right corner, give it a double click, and you'll auto fill the results all the way down. That last one looks a little cut off. I think it's because the column's not wide enough. Okay, there we go. Let's do the exact same thing with a different approach. So that's the equals concatenate kind of traditional approach, perfectly fine. My preferred method is using the ampersand or the and symbol. It tends to be a little bit faster. I don't like typing out equals concatenate over and over. I try to shave seconds and you know split seconds off every formula I do, hence the ampersand being just a little bit faster. Okay, so type in equals, and then we want this thing, A2, and this thing, B2. Do you see how much faster that is? There's no parentheses, there's no ampersand. It's gonna be almost right. It's gonna be July smush three. Okay, so here's the July smush three. We need to edit it a little bit. As you practice this, you won't have to go back and edit your cells. You're gonna know how to do it right the first time. But I just wanna show you kind of as a beginner what you might expect where you'll get like almost the right thing and you have to go in and just fiddle with it just a little bit to get it just right. A2 and quotation marks, space, quotation marks, and B2. So everything with a concatenate formula is separated with a comma, and everything in the ampersand formula, the ampersand version, is separated with an ampersand. You get the same result either way, so if you really like the concatenate formula, go with it. It's kind of fancy sounding. It does make you feel like pretty cool the first time you get something that, uh, you know, cool sounding right. Um, or just use the ampersand, just double click, fill it in all the way down. 
give this calm a little more breathing room. Great. All right, so we're going to practice this again. We're going to do month, day, comma, year, year dash month. We're going to do some first names and last names and some phone numbers in the next video so that you feel like a rock star coming out of this concatenation series.